Today we're going to find out what is a false prophet. And we're going to look at, at Matthew chapter 7, and we're going to start in verse 15. And this is what it says. Beware of false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. So here the word sheep's clothing is in reference that they come as Christians. They will confess that they're believers in Jesus Christ. So they are going to confess that they are saints. And but inside, meaning in their hearts, they are ravenous wolf. Here the word ravenous, if we go here to uh, the Greek and we look at uh, Strong's number 727, it says that ravenous means a robber, someone who comes to snatch or to steal from you. And it does it in a very powerful way. He comes and snatches it really quickly. And um, it says, seizing a sudden snatching. So he's coming to steal something. Since this is a spiritual meaning, he's coming to steal the truth. What you believe in Jesus Christ as the truth, he's coming to steal that from you and to replace it with false doctrine because he's going to teach you something false. So for that to work, he has to rob you of what you believe in the truth and then replace that with his false doctrine and false doctrine is just in reference of a false jesus a false gospel and a false holy uh, a holy spirit and we see this in if we go to second corinthians 11 so second corinthians uh chapter 11 we're going to start in i am going to start in verse 3 and this is what it says i am afraid however that just as eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning your minds may be led astray from your simple and pure devotion to christ for if someone comes and proclaims a jesus other than the one we proclaimed or if you receive a different spirit than the one you received or a different gospel than the one you accepted you put up with it way too easily so we see here that there's a false Jesus, there's a false gospel, and there's a false Holy Spirit. And that's what the false prophets bring. They bring you a false salvation or a false uh, Jesus who, like the Jehovah's Witness and the Mormons, had to say that Jesus is not, you know, he's not God. That's a false Jesus. A false gospel would be is that you, uh, you gain eternal life by works not by just grace alone but they add works to that that would be a false gospel and then a false holy spirit they deny the person of the holy spirit meaning his divinity that the holy spirit is god so things like that is is what the false teachers will bring to you now if we continue here back in matthew chapter 7 verse 16 it says by their fruit you will recognize them so what that means is by their lifestyle if you pay attention, if you observe them very closely, you're going to see that they're very greedy. They harbor hatred. It's all about themselves, and they never glorify Christ. If you really observe them very carefully, you see that it's all about what they do. And instead of glorifying Christ or um, highly exalting the Word of God, they exalt their their false prophecies. They exalt their, uh, you know, whatever they're doing, their power, their healings, or whatever it is. That's what they're going to exalt, but not Jesus or the Word of God. And then it says, Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Verse 17, Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Here, a true believer is not going to give you false doctrine. It's not going to deceive you. Um, and also... A bad tree, which is a false prophet, he's not going to give you the truth. He's going to mix the truth with the lie, which is going to taint it. I mean, if you have a glass of water and you put just a drop of poison, it permeates the whole cup. It's undrinkable. So the moment you mix lie with truth, it's no longer in, you know, the truth is just deception. And then verse 19, but every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire, meaning... If a person claims to be a Christian, but he is not truly um, producing the fruit that God requires, meaning he does not have the Holy Spirit and he's pretending to be a Christian, but he's really a false prophet, that person in Judgment Day will be condemned to hell because he never trusted Jesus as his Lord and Savior. And 
he used the name of Jesus for gain, for personal gain. And then people like that will meet their end. So how you will recognize a false teacher? Well, by the fruit. And also you could add by what they're teaching. So if they're teaching something that's not sound, or if they're living a lifestyle that's very sinful, that should be a clue that that person doesn't have the Holy Spirit. So the only way you're going to know if you're really in the Word, you know it, you study God's Word, you pray, you ask the Holy Spirit to give you insight and understanding. So whenever someone comes to you and is preaching something and he's trying to deceive you, you're going to pick up on it immediately because you know the truth, you know the Word of God. So that is the best course of action, to know God's Word, to study, to to pray and ask the Lord for revelation, for insight, for understanding, so that when that comes, you may be prepared. Thank you for listening.